have anything else in common with the plurals? Some engine S, some engine ES, some engine IES. Anyone know why? Is there a reason why they all end in different endings? Is it because it's just the English language? It's just the English language. That's a very good answer. Okay. But just because everyone began to spell the same way, it didn't mean the language became any more logical. Look at this. Why English is so hard? We'll begin with the box, and the plural is boxes. But the plural of ox is oxen, not oxes. Then <laughs> one fowl is goose, but two are called geese. Yet the plural of moose should never be geese. You may find a lone mouse or a whole load of mice, but the plural of house is houses, not heiss. If the plural of man is always called men, then why shouldn't the plural of pan be called pen? And it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on. What's the poet trying to tell us? The English is confusing. <laughs> the English is confusing. Hands up if you agree with Olaf. Okay, hands down. Ask any foreigner, in fact, ask any pupil about mastering English spelling and its inconsistencies, and they'll say, what have we done to deserve this? A lot of it is just to do with the mongrel nature of English, and a lot of it is to do with accidents of usage from centuries ago. But some of it was deliberate. Hands up if you think that English is so hard to learn. Around the time English was being standardised by Chancery, there was much debate about the best way to spell things. Broadly, there were reformers who wanted to spell words according to the way they were pronounced, and traditionalists who wanted to spell them in one of the ways they'd always been. When it's something like anchor, yeah. you don't know if it's a H or K. The traditionalists won. It is confusing. How are you going to know? Because a silent letter is silent. silent.